Well, hello guys and welcome back to a new week. This time around, I have the utmost pleasure of bringing you back the live reaction of this week's chapter of The Seven Deadly Sins. That's right, after the author's pause, after Suzuki or Nakawa's pause, Nakawa Suzuki or Suzuki Nakawa, I never know how to pronounce Japanese names. So, sorry about that. After his hospitalization, I guess he was in hospital for the last month or so. So, after that, we have the new chapter of Seven Deadly Sins, 202 to be precise, of its name, The Cast of the Holy War. And as a cover, we have King and Diane, and then we have them, their postures in Glockshinia and Dolor. So, the power of this curse is enough to freshen you up. Experience these astonishing results for yourself. It managed to change even my slothful self. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let us begin. I am super excited. Okay. Helbram? Oh, okay. The spirit of Helbram is trying, is trying to wake King. What's wrong? Neither of them will regain conscious. There's no use in trying to call out to them. Their souls are no longer here with us. Being that I am Fairy King as well, we are all probably on the same wavelength, which is why I'm able to see you. Are you an acquaintance of Kings? Well, kinda, he kinda is. And kind of isn't at the same time. It's like a Captain America Winter Soldier thing. They're best buds, but then they're not. But then they are again. And, you know. Then one of them gets cryogenically frozen again. And until the date. Anyway, enough with the Marvel references. I'm sorry, but as long as their trial remains unclear, they will never wake up. Yes, but what is their trial? <coughs> Ooh, now that's a nice spirit guardian. Spirit Spear Baskia's second form guardian. Necrosis. Ooh, that is nice. He managed to immobilize the commandment's arms. Very nice. Okay, so... Then Jayan used Giant Pig. Evil Bread. Whew, someone needs a fresh mint. <laughs> and let me guess. Meliodas but butts in with this full counter. Yep. Wait, there's a tent form? Spirit Spear Baskia's tent form, Emerald Docto. I didn't knew there was a, a tent form. I mean, it may be a Glauxinia only thing, or a Baskia's only thing. Castifol may not yet have a tent form, or King may not know of Castifol's tent form. Maybe that's what he will learn with this trial it's Castle Falls 10 4. Okay, a beautiful tag team between a full counter, a Basque stand form Emerald Docto, and Dollars Giga Crunch or Dollars slash Diane's Giga Crush. How dare you, how dare you? I'll be back soon enough and when I do I swear I'll bring all our brethren. Alright. <laughs> Diane is just like, <laughs> oh god, we probably just did enough to have him retreat for now. I still can't get over the fact that Meliodas has a huge ass sword. <laughs> this is not the time for you two to let your guards down, there's still a horde of demons behind us. Right over there. <laughs> they withdrew for me. They withdrew. How did you get those frenzied and rich demons to do that? I just had a little talk with them. <laughs> this is 
such an Elizabeth thing to do. I just had a little talk with them. We just sit, we just sat down and have, and have a little cup of tea. Cheers. Oh God, deep in their hearts, no one truly wants this war to drag on. Okay. So she is called Elizabeth as well. Elizabeth's ancestor is called Elizabeth. Now this ain't gonna get confusing. We give you our thanks. Thanks to you, we managed to avoid complete obliteration. You guys are warriors from stigma. Stigma? Translator's note, written as stigmata of light. Okay. Oh, you are, aren't you, from the Tree Race Alliance of the Giants, the Fairies, and the Goddesses. Oh. Well, I suppose so. We did come from the Fairy King's Forest. <laughs> we had received information that the Demon Army wouldn't be attacking here. Wait, why, this, why does this guy look a lot like Ban? <laughs> Why? <laughs> now that I think about it, I, 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 when I saw him in the last page, I was like, this guy looks familiar. Like, really familiar. I was thinking, Bowser, no. Hill Thunder, no. Zaratras, no, no. But then this scene, like, the way he's, like, curved and fist bumping with Meliodas, this just looks like bad. If you'd be willing, we'd love to join you as your allies. They call me Ro. I am Eliodas, and you're welcome to it. Oh my God! <laughs> I wonder if this is Ban's ancestor or something, because that would be awesome. Really, imagine, imagine if in this memory, in this memory, we see the original foundation for the seven deadly sins and that the new seven deadly sins the ones we know of diane king bam daughter merlin and merlin and eskinor we will see their ancestors the original formation of the seven deadly sins in this in this flashback in this trial whatever you want to call it because I gotta say, this guy must be an ancestor to Bans. Really, he must. That's why Ban is so much in sync with Meliodas. Because a long, long ass time ago, his ancestor was also in sync with, with Meliodas. Okay, for a second in there, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull through. Yeah, but we were totally awesome. <laughs> When we needed to be, weren't we? Hey King, that fight just now, that must have been the trial, right? Oh, such innocent. Such innocence. If that's true, then we definitely won, which means we passed, right? <laughs> but if we did pass, then we would have returned to our original forms and gone back to where we came from. That must mean the trial is still going on. But what worries me most is what Loxenius said. We want you to prove to us whether or not our choice was correct. That's right. I believe their choice was the choice to join the demons' ranks. That's why Loxenius and Dolor ended up as commandments. They must have made some a sacrifice of sorts that required them to join the commandments, thus saving something. That's the choice. That's the choice they want to see if, it's, if it was correct or not. If Diane and King managed to do the same choice, then I believe that choice was correct. If they chose not to, then maybe instead they get a chance to fight to protect that which would be safe if Dolor and Blokshinie had not joined the commandments. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see about that. This must be the, the Fairy King's Forest. So this is the headquarters of Stigma. 
it seems I'm constantly reminded of the difference in our magical power. I'm beginning to lose what little self-confidence I have. Oh, God. Poor king. What is this? I don't have a clue. Ooh. You guys are really acting weird today. That's our base stigma's headquarters. Ooh, fancy. <clears throat> Look, there's so many giants and fairies. It really is an allied army. Ooh, I got us. Hello, miss. So you finally returned the three of you who were in charge of driving back one of the Ten Commandments. Narrow bastard. Ooh. Isn't she the one that was summoned by... by Diesel? Not Diesel. Yes, Diesel or Denzel. Yes, I believe she was. Yes, sir, this magical power, that goddess it cannot be. Kneel humans for this gentleman standing before you is our guiding hand. The four archangels. Lord Rudo shall. Oh my god, don't. So, I've seen a theory of a Brazilian vlogger I follow that stated that the final enemies of the seven deadly sins would be none other than the four archangels of of Catholic mythology, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And I believe we, we may have just been introduced to one of such archangels. And this guy must be the archangel of death. Like, you who we have rescued from the brutal horrors of war, above all else we welcome you. The goddess clan for archangels, so that's... Meliodas is not convinced. I believe that theory may be correct yet. Wonderful timing. I have good news for you all. That which all of our clans have been waiting for. The end of this holy war is finally upon us. You mean peace with the demon clan? The time has come to exterminate the demons. Yep. Ryudo Shell is the horseman of death. Oh my god, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting that theory to be correct. When I heard it, I was like, eh, that seems too far fetched. But now it, it does no longer because unless there's other four archangels in the Catholic mythology that I'm unaware of. Uh, so yeah, Ryudo Shell might be the horseman of death. Oh, God. To be continued in Chapter 203, Ryudo Shell's plan. I like this. I like this a lot. I missed the Seven Deadly Sins so, so much. Oh, God. I, I'm happy with this. So... First things first, in this chapter, I believe we saw an ancestor to Bon. Ro must be undoubtedly an ancestor to Bon. Just the way he the way he looks, especially those eyes, those eyes are what sell it. And then he's like, yo, you know what? His thing with Meliodas, they seem to get along well. I mean, they just met, so there really isn't a way to say but the way they fist bumped and the way he was the way he was curved and whatnot, it seems it seems to indicate ban written all over it. Now, the four archangels the four archangels and one of them is Rio Shell, Ryudo Shell. Oh god. This this guy's got to be one of the four horsemen, or character inspired by the four horsemen. So really, the goddess the goddess clan is not as clean as it seems. I mean, we've seen that from when Nero Basto was summoned back in the fight against Derriere and and Montspier. She was not very keen on helping humans, even though they have been 
allies in the past. So my thinking is, sure, the Goddess Clan came up with the idea to defeat the Demons Clan, but amidst that, there was the plan for the Goddess Clan to take over. Now, the humans weren't having none of that. And so, or the Stigma Alliance wasn't having none of that. So, perhaps the decision that Dolor and Lokshinia had to make was to ally themselves with the Commandments and then the Goddess Clan and the Demons Clan annihilated each other. Alongside other members, the Goddess Clan alongside other members of the Stigma Alliance, other giants, other fairies. And I don't know in which side Meliodas and the humans stood. They probably stood by the Stigma Alliance side, otherwise Meliodas would not have betrayed the, the Demon's Clan. Or Meliodas stood as a third party protecting the humans. So that's a possibility. Imagine a three-way war between the Stigma Alliance of Goddesses, of goddess, fairy, and giant, and giant kin. Then we have the demons clan already with Dolor and Loxenia in their ranks. And then we have a third party, a more secluded third party, composed of maybe Elizabeth. Oh, yes, Elizabeth, because she's called Elizabeth, whether she's an ancestor to Elizabeth or not. And then we have the third party of humans led by Elizabeth, Meliodas, and Roe, probably Ben's ancestor, and we might even see Eskenor, Merlin. I go to right, don't see him being, him having an ancestor because he was a demon, so maybe, I don't know, maybe something happens and he came, he comes to the, to the light side already, so we maybe see Gother again, along with Merlin's ancestor, Eskenor's ancestor, King and Diana already out, and we have already seen Ban, and Meliodas is already there, so we'll probably see three more people joining the original Seven Deadly Sins, if we can call them that. But anyway, we'll have to see where this leads us, where Chapter 203 leads us, Rio those shells, plan, and... I hope you guys have enjoyed this chapter as much as I have. Please, tell me your opinions in the comment section down below. I always appreciate your feedback on this. And I'll see you right away with the live reaction of this week's chapter of Fairy Tale 517, 517 sorry, Wendy Melzerian. See you right away.